dunia ragam, dunia tentang peternakan perikanan pertanian dan dunia binatang buas. Namun sebelum lanjut menonton video silahkan pencet tombol merah subscribe, like dan komen serta tekan tanda lonceng agar mendapatkan notifikasi pemberitahuan video-video selanjutnya.
while that has held back the drinkers suddenly leaves. Perhaps there is no future for it in this tiny pool. The mother has made up her mind. This is not the sweet-smelling youngster she came with. But the fawn knows better. babies she has carried down from her nest on the riverbank. This is the reason she has remained in the pool so long. She would never desert her young. She is their only protection. seem content to gently interrupt the spinning crocs from time to time. But no one knows why they attend these terrible feasts. a strange thing. Rousing herself to investigate the scene, she pushes her baby almost onto the impala and then retreats, leaving her calf between these jaws and the meal. The mother's presence is enough to ensure her safety. The baby seems less certain. But the mother knows they wouldn't dare, and she drifts back into the secure slumbers of the strong. The pool has become so dangerous that most animals prefer to drink from the pits. But a fierce comedy of survival results when so many are desperate for water. Large male baboons commandeer the pits and drink every mouthful of water that seeps in. can scare off most animals, but sharp horns have the advantage, and the baboon reluctantly gives way. With a big baboon have to take their chances at the pool. A nursing mother must have water, but she takes a terrible risk to get it. see that another croc has her beat.
has dwindled to a mud wallow, and many of the hippos have left on a final quest for water. But for an increasing crowd of animals, their only chance of salvation lies here. For the plovers, no eggs have survived these cruel and chaotic conditions. Every day, an assembly of desperate animals gathers around the pool. These baboons, who are self peaceable reach new levels of aggression on themselves. These mothers with small babies do not escape from brutal bullying. still dominate the pits, but a female in Yala, driven by thirst, is ready to fight for a drink. And now a few baboons appear with blood on their hands. Their victims are impala fawns. Some are orphans of the drought, others only temporarily lost and alone. Trusting and totally defenseless, they are easy prey for a strong male baboon. Unaware of the fate of her offspring, the mother ranges up and down the pool, calling. A hungry warthog roots around for choice pieces of rotting catfish, while a kudu, heedless of the crocs, drinks the mud. The baboon didn't keep his kill to himself for long. Yet the contest seems to be as much about male dominance as ownership of the carcass. Meanwhile, the warthog sees a good opportunity. She's a little slow and no match for an at rallying any support. Right now, she needs some hands-on grooming, but there is none to be had. 